Zach wants to lay new carpet in the entrance and hallway of his house, as shown below. The carpet Zach selects sells for $2.40 a square foot. How much will it cost Zach to carpet the entrance and hallway of his house? So this is multi-step, of course. We're going to have to do the composite um, area of this shape here, but then we're going to have to figure out that's not going to give us the answer. We're going to have to multiply it by $2.40 because it's $2.40 per square foot to get our final answer. So I think the best way to cut this shape up is to take a line right there and just turn it into two rectangles. So on one side, I have 10 and 3 fourths or 10.75 times 3 and if you do 10.75 times 3 you should get like 32.25 like that I don't know this pin could be better there we go for that one and then we can solve for our other one and the width is 4 but we need to adjust the length because the length is really now only this section we've actually chopped off uh, 3 feet from that side so if you take 12 and a half and you take away 3, it should be at now actually 9 and a half, 9.5. So we need to do 9.5 times 4. And if you do that accurately, I believe you get 38 even. 38 even, uh, feet even. And so we take 38 and 32.25, 32.25, and 38. And we're just going to add these together nice and easy. I'm going to get... 25 hundredths there, 8 and 2 is 10, carry the 1, and I get 70.25. Well, here's the deal. That is not the money answer. That is the how many square feet we have in this hallway, in this, um, he says, entrance and hallway of his house. So 7.25, we're going to still have to multiply it by $2.40 because for every square foot, it's going to cost him $2.40. So I know this much. If we're going to multiply... 70.25 times two dollars and forty cents just again using my number sense um, I know it's not going to be F because we're going to multiply this number by two we're going to at least double it and it's not going to be G either so I'm really only going to consider the bottom two so now I'll multiply go two spaces over there two spaces over there and I should have a whole row of zeros here because zero times five is zero 2 is 0, 0, and 0. I can cancel out there, place my 0. 4 times 5 is 20, so I'll put a 0 and carry a 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, 0, carry a 1. 4 times 0 is 0, but plus 1 is 1, and then 4 times 7 is 28 out over there. All right, done with that one, so I can double 0 here. Students ask me about that, make sure you do that. Um, and now I come in here and I'm going to do this. I'm going to 2 times 5 is 10, 0, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5. Um, 2 times 0 is 0, and then 2 times 7 is 14. So now just a long number to add up right over here, if I get that right. 0, 0, 0. 5 and 1 is 6. I should get an 8 there. I should get a 6 there and a 1. Decimal comes back four places, two, three, and I'm showing $168.60, which is going to be H right here. Just making sure you solve for the composite shape in, uh, composite area, I'm sorry, in, in feet, and then multiplied it by $2.40 to figure out what the total cost for square foot of carpeting this entrance and hallway.